Hey everyone. So today I'm working on the loft space that we built. This is above our garage and I thought I would just share with you what we're working on up here. I am going to be uh, whitewashing and waxing these butcher block countertops. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some painting for the shelves that are going up here. You can see the corbels are up. I'm painting the shelves that are going on there. And so we're just trying to get this all finished up so that we can uh, move in here while we are building the house. And we are super close, we're just a couple days away. So let me take you close in and show you what the countertops look like before I whitewash them. To create the whitewash, I used paint, just white paint and water, and I made it pretty watery. And I used that, I just brushed it on, and then I started wiping it across the counter. And I didn't wipe it completely dry. I let it set in so that it could uh, be soaked into the butcher block. I wanted to mention that before I started doing this, I did give the countertop a light sand. So you can see the whole process here. I just painted on the whitewash and then once I had the entire surface covered, I wiped it off and I worked in sections. Here's what the countertops look like after one coat of the whitewash. purchased these wood corbels at the local hardware store and we installed them and then I am just doing some touch up paint. I did give them a coat of paint before we put them up on the wall. For the shelves we used pine boards and cut them to size and I gave them about three coats of white paint and then I also white waxed the shelves. I caulked all of the corners and the edges of the shelves just to give it a nice clean look. Here I am the next morning. I let the uh, whitewash sit on the countertops overnight and now I'm going to do the wax on them and I'm going to use the Annie Sloan white wax because it's what I have and uh, I really like how um, the white wax works. I'll just grab it here. I still have a pretty big can of this and so this is what I'm going to use on the counters to seal them. Uh, now that the white wash paint has settled on it for overnight and it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and seal it with the white wax.
After giving these countertops three coats of white wax, now I am buffing off all of the wax residue. Now that we have our shelving attached to the wall, uh, the last thing that I'll need to do with that is some touch-up paint, but it is ready to go. So. The, the final thing that I want to add to the shelving here is a dowel rod and I'm going to uh, put it in between these two right here to hang over the sink. Uh, I want to match this to the brass light fixture up here. So I'm going to paint this with some craft paint and uh, hopefully the paint will match but we'll see. I used craft paint in the color of an antique brass and I also added some antiquing wax to it just to give it a little bit of a richer color. up with the final paint touches and the dowel rod here is on. I'm done and the shelves are up and the countertop is done and we are ready to start moving some things in here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration and thank you for watching.